My name is Marie. I am eight years old. My question is, how is spider silk made? So my name is PJ Leash. I'm the director of the UW-Madison Insect Diagnostic Lab. Spider silk um, is a little bit of a complicated situation because there's not one type of silk. There are actually about six or seven different types of silk, but essentially how it's produced, uh, spiders have these silk producing glands uh, in their bodies, in their abdomen, uh, where they have the chemical components already put together to produce silk, uh, and it's in a liquid form. And so when a spider wants to produce the strand of solid silk, they actually have to pull this strand of silk out. Some spiders actually have special combs on their legs to help pull it out. Uh, or in other cases, they might uh, attach it to a substance or a substrate and start walking and that can pull it out. So in some cases, if you've ever noticed a spider dangling from a ceiling, they use kind of this safety line almost, that if they were to fall off of a surface, uh, the silk is already there. So all spiders have these silk producing glands. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, there's actually several different types of silk um, and there are different glands responsible for those. So not all spiders have all these different types of silk producing glands, but in general, spiders produce silk. So the interesting thing about spider silk is that for its size, it's this very thin, narrow fiber, it's extremely strong, but not only is it strong, it is very elastic. So it is resilient, it can stretch in the wind or due to mechanical stresses. And so when engineers look at that, um, it's an ideal fiber uh, that you could potentially weave together to make extremely strong fabrics that uh, are strong, but also elastic uh, and very lightweight as well.